Okay, guys, we are going to think in, in this situation. How is possible that the salt water enter only in one cylinder? My engine, I removed the hat and I found it salt water in one cylinder, in cylinder number two. Yeah. How is possible that? All right, you say, but, but seal, what seal? The seal for the valve enter the... Um, the... the... Seating. Yeah. Mm, okay, it's possible. Yeah, possible or, or you, you get a, a stuck valve. You get a valve that's... Well, yeah, the valve stay open. Okay. Which valve, intake or exhaust, is the valve that creates the problem to intrusion of salt water? Exhaust, exhaust or intake? Mm -hmm. Why exhaust? Because that's where the water, if, if your siphoning is incorrect. Correct, because the exhaust manifold is together with the, with the heat exchanger. Okay. The heat exchanger have salt water. The exhaust gases in the exhaust manifolds are communicated with the salt water coming out from the heat exchanger in that elbow. You remember? Yeah. Ah, okay. If the cylinder number two, the valve, the exhaust valve don't close properly or stay open during the cranking, not the engine running. I am cranking the engine. In that moment, this valve don't close and I have raw water in this point. If the exhaust valve in the second cylinder stay open and this piston is going down, what happened? It's sucking in the water. So Suction this water and the water enter. Bingo. Ah, one possibility for intrusion of salt water is during the cranking. During the cranking, if the exhaust valves are not calibrated, the last valve is is too open so or too close. Same thing as the generator, like you were telling Correct, me. it's exactly the same. Okay. Ah, okay. This is one possibility, and this is exclusive when during the cranking. cranking. Okay, but some people say, no, Mr. Lopez, the salt water entered in my engine when the engine was running. Is hot. possible? Why not? Because you're going to have exhaust gases pushing, pushing out. So if Excuse the, me. If the engine's yeah, already the, running. The water Excuse pressure, me. If the, if the water Look at this. The but... Uh, the problem is when in the intake manifold and a small amount of salt water enter. It's not too much, it's a little. Salt water, no coolant, no fresh water. water. We demonstrate that this is not critical. It's critical when salt water enter. Immediately, because the differential, uh, uh, the thermal expansion of the aluminum is twice that the, that the iron expand and block the, lock the engine. Okay. How is possible that uh, in the combustion chamber enter water? Okay, now we discover that uh, if the exhaust valve stay open and the piston is going down, suction the water and enter during the cranking. This is number one. Other possibilities, some people say, oh, Mr. Lopez, because uh, the fuel is uh, mixed with water. This is why in the majority, in the majority, no, in all the marine engines, you have water separator filters. Mm -hmm. To separate the water in the filters, and uh, be sure that the fuel enter in the combustion chamber pure fuel, all right? Okay, this is practically not possible. Uh, other people say no because... Uh, well, then you, if it's gonna be through the intake, you have a crack in your head somewhere along. Okay, if you crack. have a crack on the head, what humidity enter in the combustion chamber? Salt water or coolant? Coolant. 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 No salt water. In I am same, talking about salt water. The same as the head gasket. We have head gasket. Uh, exactly, but it's cool. coolant. Cool. Yeah. It's coolant. No salt water. What is the other possibility for salt water with the engine running entering in the combustion chamber? Exactly. What is the name of that heat exchanger to cool the air? Intercooler. The intercooler. Okay. The intercooler. You remember what is the function? The air fully compresses from the turbo at high pressure and temperature pass through the intercooler, reduce the temperature to avoid vapor lock. Vapor lock. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Ah, if the intercooler internally is cracked, the yeah. salt water yeah. enter with the, with the air and the salt water enter in the combustion chamber. Yes, a fracture okay. in the intercooler. In those cases, you remove the head and you found it, cylinder number two with salt water. Okay, I want to fix it. Can I fix it, that engine in the engine room, only cylinder number two affected? Yes, you can. Depending on the size you of can. the motor. Okay, and depend on the condition, but uh, in, not, in general, you can. You can. And this is the project that we are going to do in the laboratory. All right. 
You remove the head, you verify that the head with the metallic ruler is straight, the, red, the head is in good condition. We are going to remove the valves and we are going to do the service on the head. To remove the valves, there are different tools. This tool can be used if the head is out. If the head is on place, I have another tool. Let me explain with this one and after that with the other one. Okay, we are going to remove the valve. You put this one on the face of the valve. Look at this. You compress. Okay, look. Be careful with the keeper. Mm -hmm. Those keepers are conic, like a cone, and the cone enter here, and, and is, okay. is the lock. Okay, be careful because if this one drops on the build, bye-bye. Yeah. Yeah. And now you extend the spring. Okay. Extend the spring. Okay, okay, look. You have the spring, you have the cap, and you have the keys. Mm -hmm. You need to organize your table with paper and mark cylinder one, cylinder two, cylinder three, and you put organized intake springs with the cap and the keys with the intake valve. And now we are going to remove the valve. Oh, that's a seal. Okay, no, this is uh, the valve guide seal, okay. all right? Mm -hmm. Pay attention, my friend. Before you re remove the valve, this is the valve, the idea is move it, the valve with your hand lateral and verify if you have play. This valve, the play is acceptable. Move it, both hands. It's practically nothing. Yeah. If you have a play more than 316, the guide is completely worn. And you need to replace the guide and the valve, both of them. Mm. Good? All right, this is the valve. Pay attention. This seal, the valve guide seal, is located here. What is the function of that seal? Pay attention. Suppose that I have too much play in between the valve guide and the valve. This seal avoid that the oil penetrate here and enter in the combustion chamber. When I have excessive play in between the valve and the valve guide, remember that the oil, the lubrication start in the oil pan, the oil pump suction the oil, pressurize the oil, the oil pass through the bearings of the crankshaft, after that continue into the bearings of the camshaft, and after that continue and reach, and reach those elements. What is the name of those elements? Rocker. The rocker Rocker arms. And the oil goes down here for gravity through those holes and goes into the oil pan. Ah, pay attention. What happened when the oil reach this point and uh, you have too much play in between the valve and the valve guide and this seal is broken? What happened? The oil, gets the oil enter in the combustion chamber, and what is the symptom? Blue smoke. Blue smoke. Blue smoke is oil penetrating here because the valve guide have too much play, and this seal is is broken. Pay attention. Some people say, my car, when uh, I am in the traffic light for a long period of time and I accelerate again, I have a little blue smoke but disappear immediately and no more blue smoke. Once again, if I stop, two minutes, three minutes, and I start again, I have a little blue smoke. This is the typical symptom that you have play on the valves and this seal is, mm. is expanded. Mm -hmm. Some people say, oh, I want to sell my car this weekend. I am going to remove the springs, I remove the valve cover, I remove the springs, I replace only the seals for new ones, and right now, your car, no blue smoke. But the, 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 the valve have played. Yeah. In two months, once again, you have blue smoke. But you, you solve the problem temporarily and you sell your car. Okay, look at this. I verify number one, okay, no play. I remove the valves, and normally, those valves, they have a lot of carbon deposit here. You need to go into the wire wheel and clean the valves. And you put all the valves organized on the table. And after that, we are going to verify with the micrometer if all of the valves, they have the same height and the same diameter, especially in this area, the area of the movement. And we are going to verify if the condition of the valve. Normally, the thickness in this point should be 
no less than one millimeter. If you have less than one millimeter in this point, you need to replace the valves because you don't have more material to seat the valves again. What do you think about this valve? This valve should be uh, seated again with that amount of material. That, that valve should be replaced. Probably the other valves are the same. You know, my friend, Danny and me, we emphasize all the time. Uh, the people normally, uh, I receive a lot of complaints uh, some years ago. Oh, why your student, they don't use gloves? Because in our class, we don't allow gloves because we want that you touch, yeah. you smell, <laughs> you, you, you. Yeah, you, you lose this, your senses to your hands. Yeah. No, my friend, this business is to touch. How you feel that play with, with soldering gloves? You, 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 you can't move it? You can't put a small spring in the carburetor, you can't put the needle in the carburetor with, no, my friend. With goggles, no, no, my friend, you need to be clean. You need a space to touch to smell, yeah, to feel the oil. I, I, that oil is not good, that oil is contaminated. You feel the oil, yeah, right no, you touch. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> suppose that the valves are good or I have new valves, I am going to seat the valves again. Okay, this is the process. <laughs> And now, I am going to introduce here, I did this, this is uh, the Lopez tool. Okay. And this one on the drill, and now, <laughs> because some people use that technique, but this is for me to prepare chocolate, but no, no to fix the valves. Okay. And now, in this space here, uh, we are going to add it, a valving compound, lapping compound. You remember the lapping compound mm, used for the propeller? Yeah. yeah. To seat the propeller on the chaff? We are going to use the same. We are going to use the same here, 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 here. And after that, medium RPMs. You hear, no? The sand. And periodically, your partner added more and you, okay, when you finish, periodically, two times, three times, it's good idea, remove the valve, and with mineral spirit, with mineral spirit, clean the valve, clean the seat of the valve, clean the valve, clean the seat of the valve, and, uh, and you see, you don't have dents, you don't have nothing, you see? Mm -hmm. And also here, on the, on the seat of the valve, you see the seat of the valve is completely wow. polished, no? Ah, I have a little dent here. You repeat the process. Both of them should be like a mirror, no? Perfect. And, okay, you finish this one. You continue with the other one, the other one, the other one. When you finish, we are going to do, we are going to put the, the head facing up and uh, we are going to add it gasoline in this area, gasoline in this area, and we are going to verify if we have leaks here or here. If we have leaks of gasoline here, it's because that valve needs more seating. seating.